Hello and welcome to another Beehive Integrations Guide. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up a connection with make.com and your Beehive account. We just released our version 2 API that has more features and is more powerful than ever. And we actually built out a no-code version of the API through a platform called Make, formerly known as Integramat. But it's a very powerful platform, super easy to, to use, very user-friendly and has a bunch of cost uh, benefits over something like Zapier, but works very much the same way. Um, there's thousands of different connections, so you can really connect any kind of platform uh, that's out there the same way you would with Zapier. And uh, Make is probably going to be one of the uh, primary no-code automation tools that we recommend moving forward. So with this new API, not only can you create users within your Beehive account from things like external forms or lead ads on social media, uh, advertising platforms, but you can also manipulate the data within your Beehive account. So you can do things like view your different posts. You can export the H HTML from a web post. You can view segments. You can update user data and much, much more. Before we get too far along, let's just jump into it. So in order to set up this connection, you're going to uh, look for the Beehive module in the library of make. So you go to make.com, set up an account. And when you can search for applications, you'll just type in Beehive. It'll be this one with the black logo. Now, if you're watching this in late 2022, uh, we have not yet been made public on the connection store. So you can reach out to support and we'll send you the link to our private beta. If you're re watching this, you know, in later than 2022, uh, please check here first before you reach out to support. So once you have verified that you have the connection in your Make account, we're going to go to Settings, Integrations, and we're going to look for the publication ID for API version 2. We're going to copy that, and inside of this, uh, you're going to make a Beehive, any of these Beehive connections. You can see that there are lots of different options. Um, we'll get into these in a minute, but you'll just choose any of them. And for this connection, you're going to take the publication ID and drop it here. Next, you're going to grab the API key. You're going to make a new one, and you're going to drop it in this API key space. Once you hit save, it's actually going to save this connection so you can reuse it over time. So you can see I've already set it up, and it's ready to go. So from here, we're really done in Beehive. Most of the rest of the work we're going to do is going to be done in uh, Make. So I created a test form through JotForm that on the surface provides uh, first name, last name, and email. I also created a couple hidden fields for UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, uh, referral code, and uh, referring site. So those are the ones that we connect to and we map to by default. You can see them all here. If I wanted to add custom fields like a ad ID or I wanted to collect some custom information, I could also do that here by selecting a custom field like I did here. I actually have that set up. So custom field would be... Uh, I would actually type in first name because that's the name of my custom field in Beehive. Those can be viewed under audience custom field. So I have a first name custom field. The field has to exist first in Beehive before it'll work over here. But I can then add the first name here. I could also add a second one. We'll just set that to string because it's a string. I can set the field for last name to value last name, and actually I come up here, I did this wrong, I'm going to type in last name. And we'll make that a string as well. Perfect. So aside from these, we can just go down the list. I can look in the data that came through from JotForm. So I see email. We're going to say, yes, if the user's been deactivated, let's reactivate them. We're not going to send them a welcome email. For source, we'll include UTM source. For medium, let's include UTM medium. For campaign, UTM campaign. Referring site, referring site, and referral code right there. So now with this setup, we have the form from JotForm fully configured to create a brand new user and fully map everything that we're collecting about the user uh, into Beehive. So now that there is there is a little bit of data in here, there should be at least one form. So we're going to try to run this. I can't promise it's going to work, but it might. So it's watching for submissions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, EJ White. And then we're going to say, let's do uh, EJ plus make test at beehive.com. 
Cool. So you can see here, EJ white, EJ plus make test at beehive.com. That got sent to this beehive API connection. We have the custom fields. First name is EJ, last name is white. We can see all that data is being captured correctly. And then being, we're getting the proper uh, information back from the API. So this is verifying that it's been created in beehive. And if I go to subscribers, I'm going to see that user created right here. If I had set a source, the source would show up here. If I had set a medium, it would show up here. But within the user, it's uh, good to go. So there you have it. That's just the first step on, of you know creating a subscriber. We have 17 other um, actions that you could do, and you can make them work with uh, thousands of different apps. The possibilities of how you can use this API are virtually endless. But if we look in Beehive, you can see we can do stuff with publications, with subscribers, uh, with posts, with segments, with the referral program, and with email blasts. Uh, all of these are very powerful, fully functioning, um, allowing you to make and you know view and transform data. We also have more updates coming in Q1 of 2023 that'll allow you to post uh, to other platforms using webhooks from Beehive as a trigger. So coming in Q1 of 2023 will be the ability to make something happen when a user signs up. So a user signs up in Beehive and that will be able to trigger uh, stuff to happen in Make or a user uh, you know, you post a publication, your, your publication makes a post, it publishes a post that may trigger other stuff to happen. Right now, other things, other platforms can trigger Beehive. Uh, and of course, you can view different things, you know, you view and list things without other triggers occurring, but um, getting way more powerful by the month. Uh, so we look, can't wait to see how you use this to make your publications more robust and more powerful. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave comments in the video and I'll respond to them. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.